Hello and welcome back to the Beanbag. Today I wanted to show you some of the figures from Star Trek Generations. Um, which, if you're familiar with the debacle about the Star Trek Generations figures, they, uh, <laughs> when the toy line for the movie actually came out, they got produced wearing what was technically the wrong uniform because they had designed new uniforms that were going to be used during the movie and then at the last minute sort of had a change of heart and went to using the regular uniforms from the show combined with the uniforms from Deep Space Nine. So that's actually what these are going to be. Some of them are the ones that they actually made. Some of them are cust customs of mine. First is actually Captain Picard. This was actually put out with the Deep Space Nine line. Which is why he's got the round com badge on versus the uh, square one oval shape. I'm not sure what you would call it. Which the body was actually a reuse of the uh, Dr. Bashir body painted with the maroon shoulders on the with the Captain Picard head. Um, then there was there's uh, this is a custom of Commander Riker, which this is actually uh, a Chief O'Brien body with a Riker head on it. Uh, which is the same way that they made the Thomas Riker figure. Which the funny thing about that one is, is that in that episode, Thomas Riker never actually wore gold. He was in a regular... He was actually dressed like Riker was throughout Next Generation. Uh, but the interesting thing about that is that in the movie, uh, Frakes was actually wearing... A reuse of the uh, uniform that was worn by Cisco by uh, uh, throughout the series, which is why he had to roll the sleeves up, is because uh, Frakes is a little bit taller, so it actually caused the sleeves to be a little short on him. Uh, this is actually one of the first ones data that got released as an actual Star Trek Generations figure. Um, this was the first one of the first ones also that it was a, the body is actually a reuse of the uh, Cisco the Captain Cisco first line body but they did manage to change the com badge to the sort of square shape that they had from the movie and then they also there he is released Geordi and it's the same thing you can actually if you look especially at the hands you can see that they're the exact same uh, both of them being that Cisco figure reused with the altered com badge uh, then they did release uh, who she never appeared in the uniform but Dr. Crusher um, there was supposed to be a scene where she was in this uniform, but that never actually happened in the movie. Uh, but they did release this as an official part of this, the line. Now, this is another custom I made where I actually took, and it was a Jadzia Dax body. And I put a, a Counselor Troy head on it. Because even though, again, she never officially wore this in the movie, I wanted to have... A version of her wearing this and then the last one is one that again it's not one from the movie but I was like you know what we never got to see Worf wearing the gold shouldered uniform and so I custom made this and that's just the DS9 Worf and I uh, just repainted the shoulders from the maroon to the gold color and uh, that way I could have my version of this figure and so that's the uh, the crew from Star Trek Generations wearing the Voyager DS9 styled shoulder colored uniforms thank you for joining me this time and I hope to see you next time if you enjoy my videos and want to see more please like subscribe and hit that bell icon also, you can support the show by signing up on Patreon, or head over to Zazzle to pick up prints of my artwork, prints on canvas, t-shirts, and other merch. 
You can find me on social media for more information and updates on the channel. All info is below. If you didn't enjoy the video, why are you still here? Do you want a song? Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, them, yes, them, three bags full. One for the master who can screw himself. You can listen to somebody else.